Alright, so what's up YouTube? It's the nice thing here. Back with another video. And I guess this video gonna be about getting on your purpose for real. Like, you know, really just figuring out what you wanna do with your life. Like I'm not saying I got it all figured out, but I think this is something that it's kinda crazy because people like it's such like a, a a low standard, like the bar is low for a lot of people. Like in in life because, you know, it's one set of people that, you know, it's like you just YOLO, they just be living their life. I mean, I get it. You're supposed to live your life, you're supposed to have fun, but it's like they have no type of idea, like what they want to do with it. They just want to have fun. It's like they pleasure seeking and really they're just existing, right? But, you know, with the Kodak quote goes about, about ignorance is bliss, some people just can just exist like that and just be okay. And it don't matter if they're in poverty. I think that's. It don't matter if they life fucked up, they just accept it. And I think a lot of that got to do with them accepting the fact of, you know, maybe they just believe they're not, they not meant to win. Even though they may have dreams of doing something big or great with their life, they just don't have, they, they honestly don't believe in their heart that they can do anything greater. And then it's the other people that really, I guess, it's kind of like a misconception, right? I'd be like, they'd be like, oh, you young, man, live your life. You don't gotta, don't take your life serious till you like 30. But think about how much shit can happen in 10 years. If you just living your life, just having fun and not like trying to be, not moving with intention with your life. Like people, I realize a lot of people just don't live with intention. It's like life is like constantly happening to them. It's constantly happening to them. And that bothers me. That scares me. Like I about to say, like the thing about me is I'm very, at times I'm very hands on. And I'm just, I'm, I'm getting a better rhythm of being and knowing when to take my hands off the steering wheel and let the universe handle what it needs to handle. Like, but some people just be in the fucking passenger side, just letting the car drive. I'm like, dog, y'all can't be this fucking serious. Y'all are too grown for this. Y'all too grown to just be living life and not living with some type of intent. Like y'all just doing, just waking up and just whatever happens, whatever happened. Like, I understand full on, like, you know, life is gonna give you shit that you you gotta deal with. I'm not gonna not accept that. I'm not even mad at that. That's just life. I'm about to say, you can't control life and you just have to deal with it. You have to learn, you have to adjust, you have to make adjustments and find a better way to maneuver. But in my own mind, and that's just maybe that's just how the way I look at other people and the way that I learn. I learn from everything. I'm like I'm like I'm I'm a student of life. I like to look at people and see where I can avoid they, you know, they misstep and they, they mistake. That's how I try to choose to live my life. I don't wanna make the same mistake other people made. And I just hate repeating cycles. Like, I hate being in cycles for so long. Like, you just, that's part of the reason I was suffering. And what really pulled me, like, to even find a fucking spiritual path. Because I'm like, dog, I don't feel good. I don't like this feeling of just feeling empty. And a lot of that emptiness feeling is me lacking any type of purpose of existing. Like, I'm like, dog, I'm just here. I'm, I'm just here. I don't like just being here. I bust, I'm not in a good, I'm not even in a good space of just being here. Like, you know, I'm going through it. Some people be in more favorable favorable positions, and they just existing and just going through life, so they don't feel it as bad. But when you're at the bottom, like it's, you just really feel it. Uh, but yeah, like I was lacking, I was lacking that love, I was lacking that passion, I was lacking overall a purpose, right? And one of my teachers, uh, my Husu Donna or Zah, he be speaking about like you know. To a certain extent, I, I kind of do believe it. Like, men aren't really meant to be trying to seek pleasure. Cause I mean, it's 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 of course it's societal standards, but it doesn't do anything for you. And you know, you're supposed to your main goal in life is like to make sure that like your manifestation that's inside your mind be able to come forth and like to like the physical reality. And I think that's how I live my life. And if I'm being honest, before I was even thinking like that, you realize how little and how how wasteful it is just to be pleasure seeking. It's a waste of time, like literally. Like it, it's draining, it's a waste of time. It's just so much fake shit that goes with just materialism or like just feelings and pleasures. It's just like, it's these type of things only last temporarily. That's one thing you know when you're trying to grow spiritually is that everything is temporary. Nothing is even, nothing is meant to stay there long. Even you, even existing, like I said, nobody lives forever. 
And it's like, it's just a waste of time trying to hold on to these things that are always going to come and go. Like, that's the main reason why I'm like, people saying, like, I'm trying to be happy. Like, what do you mean you're trying to be happy? Like, in my mind, like, that's some childish shit. Like, even kids don't do it. I mean, kids probably say that every now and then, but, like, kids understand, you know, they able to pick up their emotions and drop them and pick them up and drop them fairly easier year than, like, let's say the average adult. Like, they just hold on to things. They hold on to grudges. And... A lot of that course is just from younger ages, but you know, some a lot of these older people die with them that type of holding that grudge, and they never let it go. They never just move on past it. But uh, people, I think people generally like lack purpose or passion and unconditional love. And in my mind, those all three, though all three of those things are like under the same umbrella, but they kind of work all together, right? Like. The passion is the unconditional love. The passion for what you, your purpose or your existence and just doing anything with your life is, that is the thing that brings meaning to you even waking up every day. It makes you want to, it makes you want to try. It makes you want to find a way to express yourself. That passion is like an energy that's, a big energy that's behind you and it's going to push you and push you into your own future success with your own life or even just a career you may have or even just building a better relationship with people like that passion is something that is visible on everybody it's visible when people care about what they really care about like we see artists we see players we see buildings like you see architects you see books like people that really care about like the thing that they do and like let's say it's writing or making poetry you can see it it's like it's it almost like it's infectious it's like it comes through whatever they doing and those type of people are always like the best people in terms of I'm not saying like behavior, but I'm speaking in the terms of like just being able to express they love, being able to express that unconditional love, that passion that they may have. And I think that's like the goal. The goal in my mind right now is like to really be able to express myself to the highest that I can. And I tend on doing that through my passions and my passions are let's say this YouTube stuff or getting better to YouTube stuff, but also just with the psychic and all the extra stuff. Getting on your purpose, getting on what you love, like getting on helping people, getting on your best self, becoming your best self. I think that's really what it is. You know, I think Ninja Hustle said in the song, like, you gotta find your purpose or you legit, you just wasting air. Like, literally, you just wasting your existence. And I get, you know, Everybody isn't meant to be so strict. Everybody isn't meant to be so, you know, on it and on their purpose. And, you know, that's just a life thing, you know. Everybody not meant to be woken up at the same time. And, you know, not saying that in a condescending way, but you just, in a way of like, you know. Some people, I think it's kind of interesting how people, uh, my bad, not going to say it, with, but they say like, let's say people before they come into this world, you start, you have a mission. Most people come to the world knowing they're not going to complete their mission. And that's just, uh, it's kind of interesting how that's like, uh, it's it's very, even though they say free will exists, free will don't exist. My bad, I'm not, I'm not trying to go into that argument, but yeah. Get on your purpose, man. Like, don't waste time. You don't, they try to tell you you got time, but you really don't. Like, <laughs> that, like that's one thing I be I be having like to ward off and people tell me like Kevin you got time I don't got time you don't got time to waste you don't have you don't have time to waste on bullshit if you if you got a plan I think Rick Ross is saying if you got a plan it's gonna take ten years I don't it's gonna take ten years we can do that but just don't waste no time with any of the small shit like make sure everything is on board make sure everything is set and just get to work you know but getting on your purpose is important. Uh, my teacher was speaking about this too. Like when you own your purpose, it's like nothing else can really bother you to a certain extent. Like Mahusudana, he was speaking about like let's say if he got, let's say he had a girl or he was messing with a girl and like the girl just canceled on him. With that passion, it's like it's something to lean on. Like it's been many times when I've been upset or something, or I just been like just so like over. Just dealing with people or just talking to people or just, I'll just be drained. I'm like, dog, fuck this shit, man. And then, like, I like start writing a video down, video idea down. I just 
get like a burst of like motivation just to like go record a video or just anything really like that 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 this is I see this as an outlet for me I see it as a way for me to express myself and get my thoughts out and really just get some of this energy out of me that you know may have been stirred up from you know some altercation I had or even just you know me about to do something wrong in the sense in the sense of you know let's say arguing with somebody or you know going to sleep <laughs> so I say, i'll be going to sleep sometimes i'm like dog i'll just be drained i'm like dog just because sometimes i do be overworking myself but you know when you behind that's it's kind of what you got to do but yeah getting on your purpose you just got to you just got to you just got to don't waste no time you just have to so if y'all like the video, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see y'all later. Thank you.